How are you students? Before we move on to the next topic, let's see whether these four expressions can be factorized. And for x minus 1, we can find no further factors. It will remain as x minus 1. And for x squared minus 1, this will be the form of difference of 2 squared. And we have x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. And what about this one? x to the power 3 minus 1. We will check this out sometime later. And the last one, x to the power 4 minus 1. It seems that there are any form of factorization method for x to the power 4 minus 1. But what if we consider x to the power 4 as the square of x squared. And we can find that right? this is a difference of two square format. And now we have x squared minus 1 times x squared plus 1. And again, one of the important objectives of factorization is to find as many factors as we can. And now we can see that x squared minus 1 can be further factorized into x minus 1 times x plus 1. And therefore we have the final answer. And x squared plus 1, we have no simple format to factorize this expression. And then the last expression is x cubed minus 1. Can we factorize it? And uh, by observing all other expressions, it seems that the factor x minus 1 will probably be one of the factor of x cubed minus 1 because we can find this in all the other three expressions. Therefore, we have a very high chance that x minus 1 will be a factor of x cubed minus 1. But what will be the remaining factor? 